Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Duty for Me, and we are continuing with Call of Cthulhu. Um I only have this week left to play this. Um then we will play something else after this. Don't know what, we'll see when we get to Friday. But I ended where we last left off, so this is all new from here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, a squid. Is that him, Kafu? Yeah, I think that's good. That's him. Who goes there? Why are we nightmare. back in the mansion? I need a drink. Now it's daytime, so now everything must be less no. creepy. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? I saw people in hoods. They had stolen Mrs. Hawkins' paintings. Who are you talking about? Why would they do such a thing? I don't know, but they were a threat. They've taken over the caves under the mansion. They were performing some kind of ritual. One of the entryways was under Charles Hawkins' office. We suspect Mr. Hawkins are being involved. My patients believe the old islanders used to worship primitive sea gods. Could they be the focus of the cult? Am I hearing this right? So you think me gullible? No, not at all. What else did you uncover, Mr. Pierce? Flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients at the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes, 
I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father is to okay. be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. Hmm. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Yes, we have lots to talk about. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. I have no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. How does he not remember? Hmm. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Okay, I'm gonna start like skipping some of the dialogue. It's taking too long. Francis Sanders, do you know him? Of course, he's a patient, or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. Uh. See, if I save this, they'll probably come crazy and then I'll end up back there. But if I save this... It will be probably a rational reason. Ah, uh, let's do this. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? 
Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Yeah, maybe he's actually still alive and I was just really crazy. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see affect your destiny. Widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Do I have any points? I have one point. Let's bring our strength up. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Okay. Okay. I gotta go talk to his wife. Damn, I thought we were gonna be outside. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders? I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death? Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well... Since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Oof. I hate it, but I can't like, do that. Um. Yeah, I should not say this because when people will think I'm crazy, I should keep that to myself. I was probably hallucinating the entire thing. So... We had a short conversation and then I left. I don't know what happened after that. Oh, I see. 
Mr. Pierce, you must forgive my audaciousness, but I've had practice of life in high society for over 30 years. Reading one's interlocutors, recognizing the politeness of a lie, are things that are taught very early to young girls from a good family. But oh. your lie has nothing polite about it. <laughs> it is crass, insulting, and dare I say, terribly suspicious. How? I need to understand my position. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief, and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Darkwater. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Dimensional Shambler. How do you know, Sir Hawkins? What is Cat doing here? Oh, la, la. I deduce that your husband already mentioned this Dimensional Shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Okay. That went well. If, except for part she, she saw straight through that lie. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. hey -o. What we doing? Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the shampoo. Stay hydrated, guys. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell <sighs> He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Well, she knew the painting was haunted. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? Oh shit. The Shambler. I need to see it. You saw nothing. <laughs> Did she really care for him after all? Oh, so they. Uh oh. Someone's cheating. My medicine has progressed. Well, maybe they weren't cheating. Is it in here? Wrong room. Wrong room. 
sorry, just uh, searching for that painting. What the? I swear I saw something. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Francis Sanders cylinder. Where is it? I was not paying attention to where this gallery is. Oh, you. A strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. I don't know if they were like... <laughs> go, hey, why are you stealing my stuff? Ooh. I got a trophy for inspect 50 items. Cool. What? Would you read the book? Don't read the book. This effect will. Oh no! Get. Oh. That's twice shoot. you stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It okay. means someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Would you read the book? Oh, it's tempting. Let's read it. Oh my goodness gracious. Beyond it, except to read an unholy book. That's pretty much unholy. <laughs> wow. Did not expect that that was wild my cultism is almost maxed my strength on max medicine is not nearly very enough let's uh try psychology did i not save yeah boom boom okay open Ooh. Let's close the door so I can be alone. Why is it glowing? These artifacts date from pre Columbian times. Why is there a hiding spot? Okay, there's the painting. We'll go check that now in a few minutes. Let's just see what the is public here. entrance to the gallery. Why does anyone want to see the man transforms the entire one. wing of his manor into an art gallery? Why? Was he obsessed with Sarah Hawkins? 
Or... Hey, I got ink! I think he was obsessed. Too obsessed. Maybe not like stalker obsessed. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Okay, I don't really see any more stuff. Let's go get here something. Oh, more ink. Okay, that's it. Let's check out this painting. Brace yourself, guys. This might be ugly. What is it? Okay, I'm probably going to need to run and hide now. Okay, forget about being dirty, that, that, that's just plain old creepy. What is that? Game has saved. What the hell was that? What should I do? I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, Sanders residence. Blah, 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 blah. Shambler, an exceptional painting. He doesn't tell me what to do. <laughs> Sanity, yeah. I'm a little bit crazy. Oh, Squid Man. <sighs> I can't even touch it. Wait, can you can you hear me through the mic? Hello, I'm over here. Do I? What should I do? I need to get out. No way out. No choice. I must get rid of it. Go away! Ah! Okay, good. I'm dead. <laughs> um, what should I do? Okay, well, I I don't have time. But I am going to record another video right now. Where I do that. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.